In Mumbai, a biopic of political figure Savarkar, the father of Hindu nationalist ideology and an admirer of Adolf Hitler, has been playing in this theater for almost a month. Among Savarkar's fans are the ruling party, the BJP, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. It's a super movie. It reveals unknown stories which my generation are not aware of. All the things that Veer Savarkar did for our country. As India heads to its general elections, nearly a dozen films promoting the Hindutva ideology are being brought out by filmmakers. Jahangir National University is one of them. Taking the name from Delhi's prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru University, the film depicts it as an institute destroying the country with its leftist and Islamist views. Vinay Sharma, director of the film, denies being inspired by the BJP narrative. I'm not against JNU, to be honest. The kind of ideology seen there, I just wonder how it is possible that you are raising anti-national slogans. Why is this happening in JNU? There are so many universities in Delhi where we never hear about this. Sharma claims that no political party has funded his film, but local media investigations allegedly found a link between the film producer and the BJP. Cinema professor Ira Bhaskar is worried by the growing trend of using Bollywood to spread Hindu nationalism. This is propaganda. So these films will, um, if they are seen by a lot of people, condition the viewers to vote for the BJP because these are the views of the BJP. In the last elections in 2019, a biopic of Prime Minister Modi was barred from release just before the polls by the Election Commission of India after opposition parties raised their concerns.